Let's talk about pointers. I actually probably should have mentioned in this, this in the last video, but let's make a new video. That one was already 15 minutes long anyways. So, what do you think is a pointer? Well, pointer is something, well, that points. So, if I point to a person, I'm pointing. Therefore, I, my finger is a pointer. Uh, in programming languages, pointer is exactly almost just that. Um, it you can have a variable point to an object or another variable or a value of something, right? Um, in Python, you can sort of do that, I think. Let's find out. So let's say, and don't ever follow my this advice for variables, let's say x is equal to 5 again, and then y is equal to x. So then y is pointing to x. So if y is equal to x, so y should be 5, right? Fairly simple. Now let's change x. x is equal to, let's say, 9. You would think, and yeah, normal people would think that y would also be 9, because y is equal to x, right? So y is equal to, oh no, what happened? y is still 5 and x is still, and x is equal to 9. But y is equal to x, right? We said y is equal to x. Is it, Let's do that again. So let's say y. Okay, now it says 9. But over here, we definitely saw that it says 5. But over here, it says 9. And that's exactly that. Python really doesn't have pointers. What it is, is it's actually pointing to the value. So let's, instead of taking a look at it where it says, x is equal to 5 and then y points to x which is then equal to 5. That's exactly not what happens. What happens is that x is equal to 5 like we just said but y is equal to the value or y points to the value of x so y is actually pointing to 5. That's why over here y was equal to 5 even though we changed or over here, rather, y is equal to 5, even though we changed x. So y doesn't point to x, y points to 5. That way, when we wrote it again, y is equal to x, it changed to 9, because it took a look at the value of x, and then it took that and started pointing at that. So Python really doesn't have pointers, much like more or less Java. Um, if you if you if that's correct, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Java doesn't have uh, actual pointers, but it does this for simplicity. If you look at ever look at the Python Zen, if you ever uh, Google Python Zen, simplicity is better than simple is better than complex, complex is better than complicated, and so on and so on. And I adhere all of you to follow that. Um, do I like that Python doesn't have pointers? No, I actually rather like pointers. Pointers are pretty nice, uh, especially if you come from a, uh, if you go to a language like Golang. Uh, Golang is great, and Golang has pointers. And actually, the the very language Python is found in C uh, or other C plus plus. I think it's C, um, but I know C plus plus has pointers. So pointers are nice. It, it, it points to the memory location and it can point to the value of whatever that memory location is. And the memory location is obviously the variable itself. So Python doesn't have pointers. And for beginners, this makes it much, much easier because I didn't know what pointers was until I went to Golang. I was like, what the heck is this thing? Oh, I thought Python could do that. And then I looked it up in Python, like I just did this example here, and it doesn't. And it, it's just for the sake of keeping things simple. Now, that does mean that you actually have to add more work. So one of the, one of the things that it does, uh, that it sort of violates in the Python Zen that I believe is that it violates that it makes things complicated. It doesn't keep it simple. While removing pointers is simple, you have to add more code to make that code a little more complicated because it doesn't actually have pointers. So that being said, now you know, Python doesn't have pointers. Thank you. Bye.